Hello everyone welcome to my channel noob developer your go to channel for all things about android development in today's video we are going to show you how to implement view pager using jetpack compose in android studio do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out any of our tech pack tutorials and if you are a returning viewer thank you for your continued support let's get ready to level up but before we begin if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tips coding hacks and behind the scenes sneak peeks be sure to follow me on instagram and threads link to my social media profiles are in the description below join our vibrant community and let's connect beyond youtube so so before use the accompanist library to implement the view pager but now we don't need to because uh, jetpack compose has pager in it okay so let's first create a composable function by using just add composable annotation and inside just need a view pager in jetpack compose and the first thing which we need in the view pager is the view pages state so how we gonna make sure the uh, pager state so let's create a pager state variable and it is gonna remember pager state now remember pager state needs some uh, parameters so let's see so this is remember pager state function which 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 is in the pager state uh, kotlin file and uh, there there are three parameters here initial page initial page offset fraction pager count for the initial page initial page is the starting page which is uh, which is gonna shown first to the user then the initial page offset fraction is which is the offset of the initial page as a fraction of the page size what is the offset here offset it means that the page which is not gonna show to the user it is a snapped uh, page so if you point out as 0.5 here then the half of the page uh, the half of the page is not gonna show to the user so this is uh, actually the thing you can actually uh, implement it as uh, uh, whenever you need that particular thing so you can change that in snapped position uh, page page count is basically the amount of pages you have for the view page so this is simple thing now let's uh put the values here i have zero as a initial page and zero as for zero f for initial page offset fraction the total count is uh, five in my case now it is saying something let's see opt-in for experimental foundation api on the view page jetpack compose function composable function now what we need to do we need to first create a box and the modifier uh, for this box let's first import it then the modifier and the modifier modifier dot till max size and uh, after this uh, we need to implement the inside this basically we gonna implement the horizontal pager or you can say horizontal view pager you can do one thing else if you want you can just simply use the vertical pager let's create vertical pager first then uh, we gonna implement the horizontal pager so here stator state we gonna just uh, put the pager state here uh, inside this i'm gonna create another box for modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size and uh, content alignment sorry um should be the center should be the center so content alignment equals to alignment dot center modify equal to modifier dot to fill max size content alignment is equal to alignment dot center it just has this now i'm gonna create a column here so column and the column properties are modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width dot uh, padding which is gonna you can have an uh, as much padding as you want i'm gonna have 10 dp as a padding for all the sides 10 dot tp and uh, i need to implement horizontal alignment and this is gonna be held center horizontally simple now as per the state of the pager i'm gonna show something some data basically so if the uh, i'm gonna use the when when here uh, so according as per the page state dot current page now it will return as the the current number page so if you are at the first page then it will return one if you are the second page then it will return two uh, and by the second page i mean the third one okay so the value here is the zero one two three four so first page means zero second page means one and third page means two so as per that i'm gonna implement something so if this is a zero then our icon and uh, and in icon i'm gonna put uh, i'm gonna have painter and a painter resource and pass the r dot driver dot image one so this is it and now have the modifier for the image so modifier dot width 
I'm gonna have this as 400 dp and height as 700 dot dp let's have the content description also which is in my case image one now here the thing if you are using painter resource lab uh, resource so and icon so you need to provide the tint as color dot unspecified to showcase your image so color dot unspecified and this is it so if the zero then simple that now uh, if we are outside the when then we need to I'm gonna sh also uh, this is this is the code for showing the image now what uh, as we can show we are we can we can show actually the text so the text is going to be text is equals to page and uh, I'm gonna use the dollar um, pager state dot current page and uh, the font size is gonna be 30 sp so let's run this app and see what's the um so before actually it's uh, it runs but uh, it is not gonna show us anything because we didn't call the function here so view pager in jetpack compose now if we run the app then we gonna see the image first at first page i'm gonna we're gonna see the image but uh, from the second page it will not gonna show us the anything so here you can see page zero and then sorry page one page two page three page four page four okay so this is how it will work in okay now uh, just copy here and uh, paste it five times okay now just just change the values so zero one and here two everything is same two three four and this is five here four and three and uh, also let's add one here value as one so now if we run this then let's see what is gonna show us so now you can see page one page two page three page four and this is page five okay so Uh, this is basically the working of the view page vertical view page here. now we can have uh, the same thing if uh, I gonna, I'm gonna let me show you just change it to the horizontal page and now let's run the app this is actually very interesting <laughs> just by changing this we can have this now you can see the slideshow is changed now one more thing if i scroll slide this you can see the page two here the value just change you can see so this is the very good thing this is actually very <laughs> something uh, now what we are missing here so we are missing here the indicator the text is showing that uh, we are at the page 5, we are at the page 4, we are page 3 but there is no indicator to show this so how are we gonna show the indicator this is very simple uh, this is not a rocket science there is nothing like a rocket science let me show you how we gonna do that so first um, let me just uh, create a column here so let's create a column and this column is uh, actually gonna simply same uh, the above one modifier dot fill max width then um, 
dot padding and uh, 20 dp and this is going to be the bottom padding not the uh, all side just the bottom pad and then the alignment which is going to be the alignment dot center and uh, then horizontal alignment which will going to be the center horizontally and inside this we gonna create a row and uh, repeat it five times compose row repeat it five times and create a custom indicators just pass here whether it is is selected value so is selected means uh, the page which which is selected currently and uh, what page is selected currently the pager state dot current page is selected currently and if page state is the it value that means uh, one two or three or four or five whatever the value is we just gonna send it as true now let's create this composable function so as per this now what we gonna do with this so this is actually the indicator so we just need um, we just need to create a box modifier equals to modifier dot um, box equals to modifier dot padding as a two dot dp or you can have um, big as per you need it is depend on you padding and uh, simply the background and the background is gonna be color equals to if is selected then color dot and uh, now you can have anything color dot black white blue sand dark gray gray green light gray magenta red anything you want i'm gonna have the black as this and uh, in the else case i'm gonna have color dot uh, white so black and white this is uh, i'm gonna have now the shape we can also pass the shape here so which shape you want the circle shape we can have the uh, circle sa shape we can have the rectangular shape rectangle shape whatever you want it, it's up to you then the size the size of the indicator so here i'm gonna have as 15 dp let's see and uh, now if we run this see how it's gonna look like now you can see the indicator is showing uh, on the screen but it is showing on the central of the screen not at the bottom side now why this is not on the bottom side because we set the alignment as center but not as the bottom center so let's run the app again and see now you can see the it is showing on the bottom of the screen now if you Let's do this you can see this is page 3 this is page 4 this is page 5 and uh, if we change this to the word uh, just uh, vertical pager and then this it's not gonna ch uh, change anything at all it's just gonna show us as same as the horizontal view so simply you can scroll down and you can see now this is it for this video actually so by using this actually you can create uh, lots of apps uh, like uh, you can uh, create a dating app type where we swipe just left and right left and right and have some things and uh, have some buttons so on on click of the button you can also uh, just uh, change the pages state value so that's also 
uh, the thing so by clicking on button you can change the value of the current pager so that's also move to the uh, let me show you what you can do with the click of the button uh, actually i'm gonna just show you the uh, the thing as uh, like uh, we have the pages state here so let's me show you scroll to page now you can see scroll to page it will jana uh, scroll to page or you can say animate scroll to page so you just need to give the page uh, value here and it will gonna animate it uh, scrolling to you, you for you so that's also you can do by just clicking and uh, you can uh, create a shorts uh, app using this vertical pager and uh, reels app and tiktok app whatever you can create uh, you want to create so yeah this is it for this video if you like this video click like button i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers have questions or want to share your thoughts drop a comment below and i'll be your I'll be more than happy to help. Stay connected with us on social media for the latest updates. Follow me on Instagram and threads. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Thank you for tuning in today. And as always, keep coding, keep exploring, keep building amazing things. Until next time, I'm your host, Noob Developer, signing off. See you in the next video.